All right, y'all, it's me, it is Jersey Cat, and we are off on another adventure. This time we are on the extreme upper end of Lake Lanier, um, almost as far as you can go with a prop boat up the Chattahoochee. Uh, I probably could go a little bit further, but it's dingy, so I really can't tell where the flows are right now, or the chutes, as they say. So we're gonna anchor here. Um, I plan to maybe drop back and fish three more spots on my way back down river to the boat ramp. But uh, there's like a little eight foot deep hole right here. There are stripers and flatheads both up the river right now. So I'm fishing for either or I'll take a striper, I'll take a flathead, I'll take a big blue cat, I'll take a medium blue cat, I'll take anything. I just wanna catch some fish, man. Uh, it's Sunday night. I'm gonna suffer tomorrow at work for this trip, but I didn't, I didn't want to come up here Friday or Saturday. I just didn't want to deal with the people. So we're doing a Sunday night trip is what it is. Looks like we've got uh, our anchor holding pretty good. So we're going to get some rods out here and see what happens. Um, I'm rolling with gizzard shad and herring for bait. Everything still looks pretty nice and good. So I don't know. Let's see what happens. Let's get down. I really should actually drop further back. There's a deeper hole back there in front of a creek mouth. I think that's what we're going to do. Right, looks like we're good and hung. We're not moving anymore. Yeah. Good deal. All right. Let's get some rods in the water. You want that? Nah, I'm good. I got plenty of bait. I probably got more than I need anyways. <laughs> Appreciate it, though. Yes, There's a striper busting bait over in that creek mouth right there. I don't know if y'all heard that or not. Bury that rod, bud. You got whatever it is. <laughs> you know what? I was just, I did a podcast interview the other day and stated how I have yet to catch a white bass from Lake Lanier. As much as I fish Lake Lanier, for whatever reason, I never caught one from Lake Lanier until right now. I've caught plenty of white bass everywhere else. I've just never caught one from Lake Lanier. I've seen them. I've fished many and many a dock light where I've seen white bass. Um, just for whatever reason, I've just never hooked one. Excuse me. I've never caught one. I've never brung one to the boat. I'm sure I've hooked one before, but there it is. My first Lake Lanier white bass after almost 20 years. <laughs> Don't ask me why. I've caught thousands of stripers from Lake Lanier. We're talking thousands, and that's not an exaggeration. Anybody who knows me knows I've caught thousands, but never caught one of these guys until today. And I got it on cut bait, fishing for catfish and stripers. Go figure. Oh, well. Thank you, little guy. I hope that's not all I see up here tonight. I would like, uh, you know, some opportunities, just something with a little more butt behind it, you know? All right. We have changed spots. We're in front of this creek mouth. I fished here many times before. I catch some decent fish in this area. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. Yes, sir. Hopefully the fish are here and they're biting. First off, we'll throw a gizzard shad out there just for just for poops and giggles. 
get a big live bait out there. Why not? You know? See what the big live baits is doing out there. Because things get hotter than a hoochie coochie down on the Chattahoochie. At least that's what the song says happens. I don't know. We'll, we'll find out here in a minute. <laughs> Glad I stuck my hand in there to figure out what went in there because I would have been really disappointed had I went looking for that and couldn't find it. <laughs> that was close. That could have been really bad. <laughs> blue cats running up the Chattahoochee River on Lake Lanier these days but there you go my second Lake Lanier blue catfish at least I got this one on camera the first one I caught my camera wasn't on but there you got him boom Ow, I wish you'd let go of my dang finger I'll tell you what them blue cats they bite hard <laughs> they certainly bite hard so He's not my personal best from Lake Lanier, but there he is. Blue catfish. Bye, buddy. Right. 
That's my third blue cat from Lake Lanier. Look at that. Back to back blue cats on Lake Lanier. <laughs> Never thought I'd say that in this lifetime, but boom, there he is. Decent one too. 12 pounder. You know, fought pretty good. I'm happy. I'm happy with the bites. Oh, let go, buddy. Man, them blues got vice jaws, man. I'll tell you what. When they clamp down on something, you ain't getting it out. <laughs> Got whatever it is. Feels like it might be another blue. Definitely a catfish of some sort. Oh, we got another one. We got another one. Oh, crap, we're doubled up. <laughs> At least we were. Another blue. <laughs> Another blue cat. Lake Lanier has a viable blue cat population, ladies and gentlemen. Get off of my net. <laughs> hey, calm down down there. Stop it. Man, we officially doubled up on blue cats on Lake Lanier. How about that? For a lake that's not even supposed to have them, that's not bad. What's that, five tonight? You know, another decent 10, 10 ish, and about a four or five pounder. Boom! My first Lake Lanier double blue cat. I mean, I'm kind of tearing up the blue cats. I would have never thought I was going to come out here and slay blue cats on Lake Lanier. This is a first. We ain't waxing no giants, partially because I don't think there's any giants in Lake Lanier yet, but the population's growing, boys. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is it. We are done. It's a work night. I got to go home. It's 10 o'clock. I actually wanted to be out of here by 930, but that didn't happen because we were still getting bites. Um, we didn't get the giant flathead we were looking for or the big 20 plus pound striper we were looking for. I think we did have opportunities for a good flathead towards the end of the night, but we didn't get it. You know, such is life. I think uh, my hook size cost me on that one. I should have had a bigger hook, you know, to get past the two patch on the flathead, but I didn't. So I think I kind of cost myself that one there. But anywho, we did get our first Lake Lanier white bass. Uh, been fishing Lake Lanier almost 20 years now, and I've never caught a white bass from Lake Lanier. I've caught white bass everywhere else I fish. I've just never got one from Lake Lanier. And some people are like, how have you, of all people, not caught a white bass from Lake Lanier? As much as you fish at night with lures and artificial, and I don't know. It just never happened. You know, <laughs> For whatever reason, it just never happened. But tonight it happened, and I caught it on cup bait of all things. Um, 
but yeah so that was a first you know that was kind of cool popped my cherry on the white bass from lake lanier you know caught them everywhere else just never caught them in my home waters i'm peeling herring uh, scales off of me i got them everywhere but yeah after that you know last year i caught my first and only blue catfish from lake lanier uh about maybe a quarter mile from here and i haven't hooked another one or seen another one i mean other people have caught them but i hadn't caught one as of yet you know a second one anyways and then tonight i caught five of them and even had a double on blue cats so i so i think it's pretty safe to say that the blue cats are here they ain't going anywhere and they're spreading like wildfire you know to have caught five and i probably missed three or four other bites that i'm pretty sure were blue cats too just by the way they hammered the bait you know blue cats tend to hammer the bait you know channels tend to smack it smack it smack it and flatheads kind of you know flatheads just do whatever flatheads want to do sometimes they'll smack it hard sometimes they'll bob with it sometimes it looks like it's a brim out there pecking on your bait and it's actually a 35 pound flathead you just never know with them they do what they want you know you're the biggest baddest dude in the lake you do whatever you want to do but uh yeah, but other than that, man, that's it. I got to go home. I got to get cleaned up, and I got to go to work in the morning, which sucks. But, uh, yeah, I didn't want to come up here on Friday night or Saturday night because I'm sure it would have been a madhouse up here. So I decided to come up here on a work night, you know, banking that everybody else would be at home too because it was a work night, and I'm the only idiot that would be up here tonight. But <laughs> here I am. Doo -doo -doo. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, man, uh, if you could do me a favor man hit that like button you know hit that subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this we're gonna have plenty more coming up it's catfishing season you know i will still be fishing for stripers occasionally but i mean i fish for everything you just never know what i'm gonna fish for i get bored of fishing for one thing and then i want to catch something else so you never know we'll probably be back to striper fishing pretty soon uh i want to do some summertime striper fishing on lake lanier with the downline bite and trolling so th expect those kind of things coming up but yeah, I'm just rambling, man. I got to get going. Uh, I know I've said that like four times already, but I do. I got to get going. I'll see y'all later, man. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, do all that happy stuff. Help a brother out. That's it. I'll see y'all later. Take care.